Hello, my name is Tom Wilson, and this is a demo of Svelte Query. Svelte Query is a performant and powerful data synchronization, synchronization for Svelte. In this demo, we'll show you kind of three core features of Svelte Query. The query to get a list of users, the pagination feature, and finally, the mutation feature to create a to-do. Using Svelte Query, we can make it easy to list a set of items from a server onto our Svelte page, Svelte page. So with this, we're going to do our users and list them on our Svelte application. So we'll go to the users page and open that up. Then we've already uh, pulled in use query from Svelte query and we've got our URL. So we just need to uh, call it and we'll say query result equals use query. And use query is a hook, so it uh, takes a key, and we'll say users, and then a function that returns a promise. So this function will be our fetch, and it'll take our URL, and then we'll convert it to JSON. And that should be our use query um, call. And then we just simply need to uh, render it to our component. So we're going to do a couple of checks using the if um, command, template command. So we'll use if, and then we'll check if the query result uh, is loading. Then we're just going to show loading. If it is an error, right? And we're going to show the error. Like that. And if it's anything else then it's success so then we're gonna show the list of users so we'll do an each on query result dot data as user and then we'll show like user dot username and user dot email like that and we'll close each and then we'll just uh, wrap that in a unordered list. Oops. And our uh, end our if. And if everything goes correctly, we should have a list of users. So you saw the loading and you saw the users. Now Svelte Query caches those so we can go back to home. And then we go back to users and they're here because they're already cached. Um, pretty cool stuff. Using Svelte Query to do pagination is extremely simple. In this demo, we will create a query for some posts. And then um, what we'll do is add pagination so we can iterate through each page of the post. So to get started, we'll open up the post a Svelte template and what we're going to do is use the query component. The 
Query component uh, is a component that basically uh, manages the rendering of the items on your page. And it takes an options object in a prop. So we're going to call that query options. And we'll um, declare that up in our script tag. And then inside the query, we're going to add a div and we're going to identify this div as a slot called query. And then we're going to expose a variable from the query component using the, the let directive and we'll call it query result. Okay, so now that we've uh, got our query component set up, we just want to um, use some of the Svelte commands to basically let us know what's happening with the query. So we're going to take query result and say is loading. Oops. And then if it's loading, we're just going to show some loading text. And then we're going to check and see if query result is error. And then we'll show the error. Okay. And then if it's not loading and it's not an error, then we've got data. So we'll just use each to, to work through that data as um, posts. So these are posts that we're pulling in. And we're just going to show the uh, post title for this demo. And there. So now we, we've got our, our template and now what we want to do is hook it into, into a, a, a promise. So we'll create a function called fetch post and it's going to take a page as an argument and then we're going to call fetch and we're going to call the URL with the page argument which will return our URL up top there and that will be simple and we'll convert it to JSON and that is our um, query function. So now we need to specify these query options and we're going to use the Svelte uh, reactive label dollar sign colon and declare our query options object and being reactive will be every time the page changes this object will um, change and then it'll notify the query component to get some more data so we'll set our query key and this is going to be equal to post and the page to make that unique and then our query function and we'll call fetch post passing the page and then finally we're going to say keep previous data true okay and 
down here we ha we have our current page showing and our buttons and all of our buttons are just doing is just changing the page variable um, plus one or minus one so with that we should get pagination so here we go and we can go down and again they're queued Pretty cool. Okay, let's talk about Svelte query mutations. In this demo, we're going to create a mutation uh, hook for Svelte query to create a new to do. So we're going to go into our to-dos template and let's go ahead and wire up this form. So we've got this to-dos form. We're going to uh, capture the title input and we'll create an on submit handler. And what we're going to want to do, we'll just console log title and then um, we're going to want to clear title right now okay and to wire up our form we do on submit and prevent default and on submit and let's go ahead and bind our input. To title. Okay. Okay, let's make sure our normal Svelte stuff works. Cool. So we got it and it clears for the next thing. So now we're going to use the use mutation hook to um, do our server post, and then we'll be able to um, get uh, get some events back from that post and display whether it was success or error, um, etc. So first thing we want to do is create our hook so we'll call this mutation and use mutation and we're going to take a new to do object and we're going to call fetch with our url from above and this will be a post and we'll give it a header of content type application JSON and the body of the need to do. Okay. I think I need one more parentheses and that's our hook. And so to call it, we use the store reference dollar sign mutation dot mutate and we'll pass in um, user id one and our title for our to do we could say if it's completed or not but this should be good enough and then we want in our markup to check and see the state of the mutation so um, is it loading We'll say adding to do. Right. And is it an error?
mutation dot error dot message and is it a success right And then finally, we'll show the form. Okay, I think I got everything right. And let's give it a whirl. Test, submit. So you saw it kind of um, say an adding to do, and then it added successfully. Um, so that's pretty much it. It uh, using the mutation, it manages all of those conditions um, internally. So you can just declaratively react to them, whether it's loading or error or success, and give you all the bits you need to successfully create a Svelte form using the mutation hook and Svelte query.